every time we start these video intros, we're always in the car. I think like all of ours have been started in the car. That's true. I think they have. What's going on, guys? What's going on? <laughs> What's going on, guys? Today we are. Um, it's Saturday. Today, the 9th of September. Um, and we are on our way to my house because we're going to measure up my drawers for my new um, toolbox. We're going back to Jenny's house um, because we're filming an um, Australian Stry American Candy video. So that's obviously not going to be posted on this channel, but I will leave a link to her channel, which I will be a part of pretty much a lot of the time <laughs> in her videos. Um, that's going to be more of like personal stuff, like stuff that isn't related to cars that me and her get up to. So if you're interested in that type of thing, um, by all means, uh, there will be a link there Come for you to go and subscribe. have a look. She's got work later on tonight. Um, and then while she's at work, uh, I'm going to be doing some more work on Blake's RB26. Do you think it should be a drifter? Drift car? I think it should be my car. What do we do when we see a skyline smoke? <laughs> and then when you chop them, chop! <laughs> hey, Warren. How you bring it? Hey, man. Oh. What's going on? There he is, the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> <laughs> the guy who likes, who doesn't use throttle paste. The guy who uh, does the cradle mm -hmm. torque sequence the wrong way. According to all the professional YouTubers out there who have not been a mechanic for 40 years. Tell me how that works. Oh, no clue. Oh, mate, what do we know? <laughs> We're stupid. What we know? Oh. 570, so 57 centimetres, 570 mil by 370. So, um, this is the weapon I use when Raiden's pissing me off. And... He um, snaps his fingers at me, or he's just a bit rude, in a bit of a rude mood. So I just get this <coughs> on the hard end, and just. <laughs> and then I get her hand and I break that motherfucker. All right, I gotta do a mad shit, and then we're off. That's frustrating. I didn't check the bottom drawer. Hang on. I didn't check the bottom drawer of the toolbox. It already came with some floor covering. But, because I don't want to make myself feel like shit for being so negligible, I might just uh, use that as well because this is like foam. It's not actual, that's like solid rubber. Probably better, I think. What do you reckon? I reckon it's better. Ah, all right. So, cut out all the drawers with the rubber. Put some of my tools in there. Just our spanners. We've got our bigger ones in here with some half inch breaker bars and a ratchet. Um, some log extension sockets. Some quarter inch um, stuff. Some more quarter inch stuff here. Three eighths. And then we've got our half inch stuff there. And um, so that's my toolbox. It's pretty cool.
leave it here. So when we come back, which will be tomorrow, um, tomorrow will be the 10th of September. We're going to get these turbos off. For my, so my plan, I've just been looking at it, my plan of attack. We're going to unbolt it from the T2 flange, I believe that looks, T2. We're going to bolt it from the flange here, um, disconnect some lines if we can. Um, we're going to have to get these brackets off here for the aircon and the power steering. So we'll get them off tomorrow, get them out of the way. And then we'll get the front turbo first, I reckon. And then we'll get the second turbo after that. And then once the turbo chargers have been taken off, we'll take the exhaust manifolds off. And then once that's done, we can take the camshafts out and then get the head, head bolts. And then probably the clutch sometime around there and, and put it up on the engine stand as well.